well, uh, uh, well, well, we will not change what the constitution provides. Let's be honest to that, that this country is governed well by the good constitution we have. But I think the aspect of oversight is where we still have a challenge. And uh, our NATCO report is proposing empowerment of senators to be able to build up a structure of oversight right from the ground so that they're equipped well. But again, on the other side, it begs some questions that do we still need to capacity build our county assemblies? Because some questions are being, I mean, even my sister is talking about bending bills. I don't see a scenario where bending bills will uh, dilute the absorption of our development budget. Mm -hmm. Exceptional of where you say it, there was a spillover of around 42 billion, which those on the time is arises on the programs that were lately and uh, engaged by county, uh, county governments. Because as per the law, by 30 June, whatever is allocated to devolve the governments have to have been released. And always what Treasury does, by towards the end of the financial year, exceptional of this, I've said the management of cash flow, where they will be giving on need basis. But by the last quarter of a given financial year, mm -hmm. National Treasury ensures that they have released all the funds. And that's why they call it underabsorbed money. Mm -hmm. 